Hey guys, Bugcat7 here. Okay, it is Thursday, February 7, 2019, and I want to thank you for visiting the Stonewall Research Channel here on YouTube. Thank you very much. If you do like the video, please do hit the like, guys, because, you know, you got YouTube cracking down, censoring people now. It's a terrible thing, and, you know, it does help promote the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe, because I definitely have some interesting stuff you're going to want to know about. Okay, well, I wanted to do this short video because recently I produced a video on uh, Roman concrete and geopolymers because I was talking about Brian Forster did a video on these structures, these funerary towers down in Peru at Catimbo. And I was talking about that and then the ancient alternative view of subscriber to the channel, friend to the channel, produced this video about Roman concrete and how the secret was discovered. So, you know, I I did the research, you know, on the, this, you know, what was put out by the University of Utah by the woman who was doing the research. And we talked about geopolymers. And uh, you can watch that video on my channel. It's Roman concrete and geopolymers. But um, I have proposed in that video that, you know, they may have, you know, used electricity to cure the concrete and this is what actually you know helped it to cure um, a certain way and you know increase the hardening of it etc because you know look you know we want to believe people in the past were just ignorant and stupid and they didn't know anything about electricity I mean they saw lightning they got static charges I'm sure that they saw like we get today you know, when we go to touch the doorknob and we get a static charge. And, you know, these people put all this stuff together. They knew about it. They knew about fulgurites, okay? You know, the, when lightning strikes land and creates, you know, stone. When it, you know, it, 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 you know, more or less liquefies the stone, you know, shocks it and, you know, makes it into a stone form. They found one in Florida that was something like 14 feet long or something like that. These people were very observant in the past, you know. They, they knew about this kind of stuff. And here is a modern article about construction by, uh, you know, a website called Science Direct. And it talks about curing concrete and the um, research done on that with curing concrete with electricity and I'm not going to read the whole article I'll just put the highlights here because they highlighted them high temperature value of concrete is the indication of hydration degree as a result of applying electrical current to concrete hydration time can be shortened okay an accelerated cure can be carried out through both increasing the amount of cement in concrete and applying stress to concrete enhancing the value of stress intensity as well okay so they can make it harder and they can cure it faster okay so this may not be new knowledge I mean this may be ancient knowledge because you know you see all this stuff you know I'm not gonna get into it you know new world Sylvia was like the first one to come out with this stuff about the free energy of Tartaria and you know they might have got it from the Atlanteans and you know you see all this cyclopean stuff and megalithic stuff from around the world that could be geopolymer concretes that they knew how to mix granite and basalt and you know uh, all sorts of things you know they were able they had the recipe for that and you know if you're gonna cure something that's a huge thing let's say uh, you know the, the columns at St. Petersburg right you have these huge columns that you make molds for and you pour this you know granite mix in there and you have this giant thing how long will that take to cure well you know it may be a lot easier to cure this stuff you know if you're applying electricity and you know you have all these um you know people and you know i subscribe to a lot of these people about you know the free energy that Tartaria knew about they obviously knew about you know geopolymers and how to mix them up and how to because this is the only way these things could be done 
you know, the, the column at St. Peter's uh, Square there, which is inexplicable. The thing is gigantic. It just seems beyond. We can't even do it today. So that's the issue with some of these things, like some of the boxes at, uh, in Egypt, you know, that the bulls were supposedly buried in. They can't even make those boxes today. How did those people do it? You know, apparently they did it and repeatedly. So, I mean, you know, you have this, you know, the Tartarian free energy. You can see a number of people produce all sorts of videos on it. It's just an interesting concept. And you have the geo followers, you know, you have all these people who are researchers, research channels, the Geopolymer Institute, you know, uh, Charles Coase, uh, you know, you have these people. And, uh, you know, Pro Professor Davidoff shows the Pyramid Stones and watch some of these things. I mean, you know, so put those two things together, folks. That's all I'm saying based on, you know, what I came up with in my video on the Roman concrete and geopolymers, what the lady in the thing is missing is that these things were cured with, uh, you know, the geopolymers were mixed and they were cured with electricity that these people had knowledge of, even the Romans did. It came passed on from the Golden Age, from Atlantis and, you know, all these cyclopean structures and megalithic structures around the world, including the pyramids, which, you know, these people, you know, many research, that's what they're starting to, you know, think about now. So, in any case, guys, I just wanted to make this short video on it. So, you know, you see that, you know, my idea about it is not so far-fetched. It's within the realm of possibility if you, you know, if you've been following along with, you know, Grand Tartaria and the Tartary Empire and the free energy and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, New Earth, uh, you know, Sylvia New Earth, I mean, she, this video she did a month ago, but she revised her Survivor Series. Her Survivor Series is old. It's, it's, it's years and years old, five years old, seven years old, whatever it is at this point. But she revised her, all her videos, and she put this one out. It's based on the ones that she had before. But, you know, she's been going through this and the mud flood and all that kind of stuff. Even though she puts in her video here, forgotten ancient technologies, atmospheric electricity, and Vermonters, and all this kind of stuff. You know, she puts like a disclaimer. She doesn't agree with everybody. Oh, it's good for her. You know, she doesn't have to. She stands on her own. So, but... There's lots of people delving into these subjects, and it's been around, and I've known about it, and so why not suppose that the Romans, or whoever they were, or whatever society that was, or remnants of Atlantis, or whoever they were, knew how to, you know, create these geopolymer concretes, and then with the standard concrete, whatever concretes, and they... They needed to cure these large things fast, you know, otherwise it would take a very, very long time for these things to cure. Think about it. If you have these giant, you know, pieces of, uh, you know, stone that you need to create, um, you know, weighing, you know, 100 tons, 500, you know, whatever it is, I mean, it's going to take forever to cure. So you're going to need to speed that up. So it only seems natural that one would think that, um, you know, that um, you could speed up the curing process with electricity and why not free energy machinery or whatever it is, you know, I mean, so many buildings in the past had lightning rods on it. Well, you know, I'm sure people of the past who aren't as stupid as like, they would like to make it out, us out to be, our ancestors out to be, maybe they weren't quite as stupid as they think. And they used what they knew. I mean, they could have cured the concrete simply by putting a lightning rod on it. You know, just a temporary one. An iron lightning rod. Strap it to it and, you know, a couple of storms at the right time of year or whatever. And the thing is cured. You know, it gets struck by lightning and they harness that lightning in that way. And it cures the concrete and keeps the, you know, the vibrational you know, tone of the stone correct and all that kind of stuff. So you have to consider these things. It's just, it's not with that, you know, 
it's not without the you know realm of possibility here that you know it's totally within the realm of possibility that you know that could be what's going on so um, I just wanted to sort of clarify that because I claim that in this video and I stick to it because you know this this is a lot of supporting evidence that you know that would be a very practical use of electricity and geopolymers and concrete by the Tartarians and whoever taught the Tartarians how to do that you know the nature of people Okay, guys, well, anyway, I just want to make this video about that to sort of clarify my position on, you know, my my uh, research that I did with this uh, article for, you know, what this you know, University of Utah released about Roman concrete, and, you know, I think the lady there is missing it, but, all right? But in any case, guys, um, thanks for watching, and if you do like it, please do hit the like button, guys, and I will see you real soon with a new video. Thank you very much. Peace.